a quick trick in temple making because uh, we've got a dashboard here that uh, goes over. Come on, come on, let's put it on real quick, Jared. Right. Stick it on there real quick. And you've got this big thing sticking out through here, which is the steering wheel column. And uh, there's no way to really get a true trace of where see look there it goes it's going it's freaky freaky now there we go there's no way to get a, a true trace down here because this does not move and this is not supposed to move so we made us a cardboard cutout we've already cut our perimeter sheet out of our uh whatever you call that stuff, diamond plate. And then here is the cardboard. Why is this thing acting so weird? I might need to charge the battery. Okay, so let's see. Big goes on the bottom. Now we've got it marked front and rear, which that's what you always want to do that with your templates. And then cut you a hole, like a little trap door, so you can do your goodness there and now you got your template where that's going to get locked in place it fits perfect because i cut it and now what we'll do is we're going to get a piece of paper and um, hey do me a favor yep. grab that um well i don't know where to tell you to look for it but i know where it is um here get us a diameter on the on that shaft so we'll know exactly what that is and then we need to get a little bag of tricks over here where's my little bag of tricks somebody stole my bag of tricks huh um on american and we're going to take this little cool tool here. Uh, if I can make it go the right way. Compass. Yeah, my dad always called this a scribe. Uh, yeah, that's also true. But, and I got, I got in a fight with a teacher and got kicked out of school because she told me it was a compass. And I said, no, it's a scribe. I use it at work every day because I was a smart-ass little kid. I think scribes can also do other patterns. So now... What we're going to do is we're going to take the little pointy thing there and stick it, right? Oh, wait a minute. We can't do this. This is the wrong size. we got to do half this. Yeah. So this is, uh, so that's what happens when you talk, Jared. Okay, so that's, let's go. 41. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 4157, right? So why do you always get it on a weird number, man? Don't you have, like, just... I don't know, 4151. See, my number's cooler. Okay, so uh, we want to go to 20 right there, and then we want to go like 20 in a crack. Okay, and then we want to take this and we want to roll this baby down to 20 in a crack. Actually, let's go to 21 because we need a little bit of play in there because if, if you don't have a little bit of play, it's going to squeak. And I don't know what your application is, but I really don't know how many people are making dashboards for club cars, but uh, this this video will probably get watched by one drunk guy that's uh, got a broken screen and can't scroll past it. I'm just going to follow half the circle. And if I don't have it directly in the center, it'll be okay because half the circle is a full circle when it's unfolded, right? Right. Let's see here. Okay. There we go. Now, cut. what are you doing, man? Come over here, man. I need your help. Hold something. Do something. <laughs> Earn your keep. Let's see here. Here, hold that. 
put this area in the middle of the screen. Yeah? It is. Right? Okay. So, look, that fits on the hole. Perfect, right? So now I can take this here. And all I got to do is just make this paper a little larger than the peekaboo square that we got right there. Okay. And then, uh, boy, we don't have much room down there, do we? That right there is high quality precision cutting. All right. And now, there you go. Put tape on there and you know exactly where in the hell it's at. So, that's the way to get around that $12 on a roll. On blue tape. Be sure and take this off and put it back on the roll when we're done with it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm kidding. <laughs> When we tape off like paint jobs for cars and stuff like that, dude, I just sit and cringe watching this stuff come off the roll because it's just so damn expensive, man. Put money on it. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, there's that. Now, that's a 100% real deal right there, baby. And it will fit like a glove unless you're OJ. So, let's go back over to this here. And you gotta remember the front and the back, that'll screw you up. If you don't mark your template and you forget and you've got it flipped over, you'll screw up whatever expensive product you're working with. So with that being said, I'm gonna take the front facing me and the front of this facing me and I'm gonna lay them on top of each other. JLT, just like that. I need a flat spot for about diamond. Everything's got diamond plates in it now. So we'll roll that over, double check our squarity, got good squarity all the way around. Squarity is another technical term I learned. Let's see here, we'll hold this down here. Now that black line is where I would have put it if I would have followed the old hole and you never want to follow an old hole no matter how bad you need a hole always look for the new one so so we got a couple of little it's starting to look like an art project now so this is the the, the little plastic arch that comes down let me see, this is the, the bottom is the top, right? The fat part's the bottom, if I remember right. Yeah, yeah. that sounds right. Yeah, so this is the plastic thing, and it, see how that's overrunning that right there? That makes me nervous that our, our cardboard or whatever has shifted maybe a little bit. But let's go look real quick, because we can do that right now. It's still not costing us money. We got a D screw. Uh, the wiring masculator. Might want to try pulling up on it while you unscrew it. There you go. Okay, well, let's pull this out. Okay, we'll set that there. And then uh bottom it's fat let's see here man let me tell you something it doesn't look like it's right but it's nuts on <laughs> it is here you want to want to show the camera it's beautiful yeah you can like, there we go. Yep. Perfect. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, if that's the thing. Your eyes will lie to you when you're doing this stuff. You know, I'll tell you what. While we've got this in here, let me get this thing centered up. And uh, 
pushed in all the way. Let me grab that red ink pen. Because it's not confusing enough on the back with all the other marks, we might as well add more. And uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm happy with the way that smells. Okay, so I've got one here. I've got one here. One there. One over here. One over here. Ooh, don't touch me there. Okay. And then there's a couple here. I don't know if those are important. Did we transfer? We transferred. I don't know what else I was expecting. Put a felt tip on bare metal and leave a mark. Ideally. Yeah. So, and then if you haven't yet, uh, you got to buy a set of these things. Ever since I got a set of these things, I've been running around drilling holes and everything I can get my hands on. These things are so cool. These are the, I mean, these are about the coolest dung hole drillers that, uh, and and they're about $80 a piece at Ace Hardware, Bose and all that. I think I paid 25 or 30 bucks for all of these. And then uh, if you break it soon enough, you just send it back to Amazon and get another one. Um, but if you wait and break it, then you're going to have to deal with it. But I'm telling you, I probably drilled 50 holes with this one here. Probably about the same with this one. And the kit that I had before that probably Hello? doubled that. So they're really impressive. They do get dull, though. But Okay, well, that's it, kids. I might show you the finished product later. Bye. You screwed it up, dude. Screwed it up perfect. Not bad, huh? And when it's in place, it's like perfectly centered with perfect uh, all the way around. So there you go. See, I told you we could do it.